Welcome to this video. My name is Mark Scythian, and the date today is July 2nd, 2024. So in this lecture, we are going to cover approximating torque and RPM of an AC electric motor. So assume you have 800 watts of AC true power input into the motor and then the RMS or effective voltage and current are 110 VAC pushing 8 amps. So we have to keep an eye on the power factor. So if we were to divide the input electrical power, in this case the AC true power, into the product of the voltage and current, we then can calculate the power factor. However, just to touch upon the concept of apparent power, this is simply just the effective voltage 110 times the effective current 8. So the potentiality of 880 volt amps is available, but we still don't have any power to we multiply the apparent power times the power factor to, do, uh, to then calculate the AC true power in watts. So we have an AC electric motor with a power factor of 0.91 and then assume the electric motor has a typical AC electric motor efficiency is 85%. So this will give us 680 watts of mechanical power output at the AC electric motors output drive. So there are 746 watts to horsepower. So that is 0.91 brake horsepower at the motors output drive. So assume we selected a RPM of 1500 revolutions per minute constant speed. Now the mechanical or the brake horsepower in this case in the US Imperial units of measure is the RPM times the foot pound torque times 2 pi radians or the number of radians to a revolution or 360 degrees so 3.14 times 2 so that's 6.28 then divided into 33,000 foot pounds per minute the number of foot pounds per minute to one horsepower that is 550 foot pounds per second times 60 seconds so we're measuring in rpm not revolutions per second so we have to use foot pounds per minute as the dividend so if we make 0.91 brake horsepower equal to the brake horsepower formula we can cross multiply the denominator with the output value of 0.91 then made equal to the numerator or rpm t times 2 pi for which we can replace with 6.28 and then solve the 0.91 times 33,000 30,030 made equal to rpm t so we have to divide both sides by 2 pi or 6.28 so this then gives us 4781.8 is equal to rpm t rpm t as a square function or a product square function rpm times t so we can just simply make 
RPM T equal to the square root of 4781.8. So this was geometrically square value. We then have a foot-pound rating of 69.15 foot-pounds torque at 69.15 RPM. So we can take this value, or this metric, and apply it to the brake horsepower formula as it is an inverse relationship with respect to linear proportions. So that would be 69.15 RPM divided into 1500 RPM, so that is a reducing ratio. With a multiplying factor of 0 0.0461 times 69.15 foot-pounds torque. So this then computes the foot-pounds torque output at 1500 RPM equals a 3.2 foot-pounds torque. So we can check this just to make sure it is accurate. So 1500 RPM times 3.2 foot-pounds torque times 2 pi divided into 33,000 So we get 0.91 BHP verified as correct So the given AC electric motor with 800 watts of AC true power input having 85% electromotive efficiency will deliver 3.2 foot-pounds of torque at 1500 RPM. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.